Hey everyone and welcome to my home theatre overhaul video. So this is just going to be a quick time lapse of all the work that was actually carried out. So first we'll begin with what it looked like before. So white walls, bright room, LEDs and a smallish TV in the centre of that particular wall. So this is where all the work began and the work was basically taking this room from white to black and that will become apparent later on why I've chosen black for this particular room. Um, biggest hurdle for this was the fact that it had to be done quick so all the work was basically done over the space of one week and the painting was obviously the majority of the work but that had to be done mostly on just one day so it was mostly done on the Sunday and then I basically did a few extra coats later that night as well as some other paint work to the skirting boards, the door and other surfaces as well. As you can see my son did help me out with some of the painting work and my daughter was there just to keep us entertained throughout the day and um, yeah as you can see it's, it, it was very satisfying going from white to black on the initial coat um, however once I'd actually let this dry a bit the walls weren't necessarily that bad but the ceiling because of the sort of Artex surface it didn't really cover that well so I've not included the photos but in photos it looked a lot worse in person it wasn't actually that bad but I knew straight away that I was going to need multiple coats now I did go with the most expensive matte black paint I could find and the one mistake I probably made was if you gave this time to dry then the coat all of the sort of patchiness did actually go away but I think I would have needed three coats anyway so this is where I've literally just taken the time in the evening to put on a few extra coats once once the previous ones did dry. It was relatively warm um, when I was actually doing this work so the coats did dry relatively quickly and that meant that I could basically put on a few more. Uh, the ceiling was the worst, I hated doing the ceiling in this particular room. Um, the fact that this goes on a more sort of greyish colour and then dries a darker black did actually help so that actually made life a little bit easier but on, on the ceiling it was very very difficult to actually see what you were doing especially during the day. At night when I've actually got the, the spotlights it was actually a lot easier to see where I've painted and where I haven't. It didn't turn out perfect, some of the prep work wasn't necessarily done as well as I would have hoped to, uh, once again simply down to the time. Um, but it was a big transformation and this is something that I've been wanting to do for quite a while and generally speaking I am quite happy with how it actually turned out. So with that said, coming on to the actual results of what it looks like. So initially as you can see all the walls and everything they look a lot less streakier. At this point uh, carpet wasn't yet done, uh, also a lot of the furniture had stained the room whilst I was painting simply because I didn't have space to actually store all of this in the other room until the carpet was getting fitted but generally speaking all of this turned out quite well. Uh, ceiling uh, did actually cover quite well as well even with all of the, the uneven surface and the skirting boards at this point did actually turn out quite nice. Um, later on down the line once I actually got the carpet fitted and the door had to come off there was some damage that came about so there are some surfaces that are going to need touching up but generally speaking um, it was quite a big transformation and something that I was actually very very pleased with. The big thing that I did notice is any LEDs don't really have that same sort of um, room filling vibrancy anymore the media console at the moment in this shot you can see it's shining quite bright but those LEDs have actually had to dis uh, turn off and you'll see why later on. So next thing was the carpets and also the LEDs on the bottom of the sofas as well. So this is something that uh, I debated over whether to do it or not. The seating is going to be temporary, it will get replaced eventually. but. In the meantime I figured this will just give it that home theatre vibe and it adds a good ambience and it also adds some functionality where we don't have to switch on the light if we want to just pop in and out of the room. We can just turn the LEDs or have it set for the LEDs to actually come on. I do actually have these linked up to a physical button so anybody can actually come into this room and just hit that single button and turn them on. You don't necessarily need to go into a phone app in order to get them to switch on and off. Even during the day, as you can see, uh, you can still see the LEDs. 
Next thing, and this is the main thing about the whole room, was the actual projector setup. So the reason I went black with the whole room is to try and uh, limit any overshoot of light from the actual projector and any any washing out of the image itself. Um, this is a DLP projector, so it does suffer with raised blacks. And basically the more light that you have in the room, the worse the blacks are gonna look because the image will wash out. But this was the, the main reason. Basically I found a really good deal on this particular projector and screen setup. And it meant that I took the that small TV from the start of the room, which was basically just in the middle of that wall and made it look really, really small. And I've turned it into a full wall home theater. Um, just testing out some of the LEDs here. This is still during the whole setup. This uh, process or this period of the build uh, was probably one of the most time consuming, consuming and also tedious as well because as you'll see some of the LEDs weren't quite working and that isn't actually down to the LEDs it's simply down to the length of the wire I've had to run in order to hide everything and have everything linked up so as you can see the green LEDs for some reason aren't working with this length of cable um, it's not something that can't be fixed I, ca I can fix this quite easily just by running th the power for those two sofas separately um, but yeah that that's just one of those things and this is essentially what comes down to the end result. So now we have a wall-to-wall -wall screen. Um, it is a little higher than I would have liked. However, in hindsight, um, somewhere down the line, if I do add cinema seating, then that might not actually be a bad thing because it'll mean that the back row can actually still see the screen, the bottom of the screen, um, if I did have some sort of uh, a riser or raised seating. Um, at the moment, it's just gonna stay as it is right now. So three sort of sofas so then we've got plenty of seating space and because it is wall to wall it means that everybody does actually get a good view um, my seat obviously being bang smack in the middle means that I get a, the best projection sort of screen uh, position out of all of them but everybody else isn't really that bothered so it's it's not too bad but yeah this this was my sort of short time lapse of my home theater overhaul if you have enjoyed it please do subscribe and hit the notification bell i have plenty of other videos coming as well and i'd really appreciate if you also give this video a thumbs up as well and until the next one thanks very much for watching